stories. So often we tally overdose deaths, crimes committed by addicts, and the damage to families. But this is a story about something that can be done right about it right here in the Tri-State. Something that's working now in some other cities. Local 12's Deborah Dixon shows us how it changes lives and saves them. About half the 279 women at the Hamilton County Justice Center are here for heroin-related crimes. If it's just possession and doesn't involve anything more serious, they will be back on the streets and likely back doing heroin soon. Like Melissa Boone, mother of four, arrested for possession of heroin last summer. I was thinking about going and using, and that was the first thing on my mind. Were you also prostituting yourself? I was, yes. It was that important to you? It, it was more important than anything in my life. Melissa is one of the lucky ones. After her second arrest for the same thing in a matter of days, there was room in the jail for her to stay nearly a week. She went through withdrawal, worked her way to an addiction recovery house. Now she's reconnected with her children and has plans to go back to school. It's changed the way I feel. It's changed my self-worth, my self-image. Um, it's given me a second chance. It's going to change my life on my journey, I think. Um, and I feel that if without it, I, I don't know where I'll be at today. Deputy Melissa Holliday says most of the addicts are like Boone. They want off heroin, but don't know how to get there. Most of them, you know, they say, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. I have children out there. I want to get my children back. You know, I just, you know, I want to be able to get a job and be a better person. The jail wants to give them what they need to do that while they are behind bars. There is a plan for a detox facility for women in the jail. There's room for it to happen right now. Give me the vision. Okay, this is our vision for a female detox unit, 18 bed, direct supervision, which means we would place beds, possibly bunk beds, in a room that's twice, three times this size because this we would, yeah, we're going to knock this wall out. Medically supervised detox is just the beginning. We want to do a wraparound service here. We want to medically detox and then we want to find housing for these women. We want to find counseling. We want to create a peer counseling model here in the Justice Center. Hundreds of women would cycle through the program in a year. That includes peer counseling. As they succeed, women would move on to recovery centers with more mental health help, then sober living and job training. The plan is to add a similar program for men. When we make a difference here, it is going to have that ripple effect of making a difference out in the community. I've been on this County Commissioner Dennis Dieters weeks, heads the Heroin and, Task Force. Uh, he calls the detox in unit plan innovative. Enough. It's modeled after Louisville Metro's jail detox facility, one of the largest in the country. It treats 60 men and 30 women at a time. The program is called Enough is Enough. Everybody needs to have a seat at the table on this. And this, this piece uh, that the sheriff is proposing can be one of the solutions if we can figure out how to pay for it. Oh yeah, that, the cost. The sheriff's office said it would pay the $500,000 to build out the unit, but it needs corrections officers and nurses 24 hours a day, counselors and three meals a day. Cost for a year, $1,400,000. It's about the money, but at some point it's about you know, people's lives and we need to, to find a way to make, make some change because we're losing this battle with heroin. The issue may not be can the county afford the unit, but can the county afford not to have it? Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. Last year, thousands of people went through the detox program available to any addicted inmate who enters the Louisville Department of Corrections. The Enough is Enough program lasts 90 days. Inmates have to volunteer to be in it. A spokesperson for the Louisville Correction says it got to the point where the city had to do something.